And we're about five miles northwest of downtown Tampa at beautiful Raymond James Stadium near Florida's Gulf Coast. With the echoes of cannon blast still ringing in our ears from the north end zone, the Bucks were introduced a moment ago, and they are all set as their guys will do battle. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line with the Carolina Panthers. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. carry for Christian McCaffrey and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two and it brings up second down Golston on the tackle that was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two yard run but I've got to think this offensive line they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run one that they rely on one they have confidence in one they feel like they can block from the 22 here's second and eight out of the gun Bridgewater and he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Catch there by D.J. Moore, who's really starting to come into his own. And he's one of that pack of receivers in the NFL now that looks like running backs and plays like that as well when they catch the football. Last year, nearly 1,200 yards receiving, 78 yards per game. And that ranked in the top 10 in the league. Expect those numbers to continue to grow. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. To throw on second and six. Bridgewater. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive. Couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. From the gun, Bridgewater. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A pickup of five yards. First down, Carolina. And there's Christian McCaffrey with another run. Run CMC as he's known in the Carolina area. Easily the most productive running back in the league last season. 2,392 yards from scrimmage. He's just so dangerous every time he gets the football. Whether you hand it to him, throw it to him out of the backfield, just imagine if they had the guts to let him return kicks as well. This guy is a true triple threat. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. 
And this one incomplete. Well, there's too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. But that's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Joey Sly on now for the Panthers. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And that hits the crossbar and comes back, and it's no good. And by just a whisker, this remains a scoreless game. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise, and that'll deny him a shot at three. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. Here's a throw caught by Gronkowski, and he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Solid way to start the drive, 13 yards, picking up the first. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses, because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways, because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opened things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> but he's got it. It's a gain of 16. First down, Tampa Bay. Back to back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Now the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Well, the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs. They'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. On second and nine, Brady, and nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it, just move on to the next play. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now Ryan Suckup will come on and try the field goal, and this will be a 45-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. They have a bottom line. They wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. On the return, it's Farrow Cooper. 
And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they tell their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. A well executed 22 yard gain. 22 yards. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Brings up second. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Two yards, good enough for a first. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Throwing Bridgewater. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Now Anderson on the jet sweep. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. At the 29-yard line, a gain of five. First down, Carolina. A first down throw for Bridgewater. It's caught by Roberts. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. And the Panthers You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second and six. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. He was no gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain on the play. Brings up third down. <laughs> on third down, Bridgewater. Forced out to his left. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards and a first. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. 
And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Try to power it in with Arma. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Panthers have taken the lead. And that's why you have the fullback. Charles couldn't get it in the play before with a smaller guy. Turned to a little more power. They score it. And now it has to warm the hearts of a lot of old school football fans. They love when they get to see a little bit of power football. The point after is good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Joey Sly to Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick. <laughs> Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. K1 short with a sack. That's 315 pounds of man right there. Second down. That's the end of the first quarter. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. From the gun, it's Brady. This one complete to Scott Miller. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Throwing is Brady on third down. Open man is Miller, he's got it. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. And now the third-year man from USC, this is Ronald Jones. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is, and really a lot of the time they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance, they're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Brady going to throw. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. 
And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. And Dominican Sue with a sack. We've seen that eight since he entered the league in 2010. Well, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up, back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter. Because McCaffrey trying to escape, but he cannot. They get him in the end zone, and that's a safety. And you know the man who sat in my chair the last few years? He has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. That's a lot of points. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. They find some open field here. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Throwing on first down is Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. From five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, whenever you talk about players that really broke out in the 2019 season, you better add Chris Godwin to that list. Over 1,300 yards receiving, nine touchdowns. He was second among receivers last season, receiving yards per game at 95. This guy combines great body control, excellent strength, and terrific route running ability to become a really big downfield threat. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And there's a nice catch there by Rob Gronkowski. We all know the story. Came out of retirement, got himself traded to Tampa Bay from New England in order to reconnect with his favorite quarterback. And no one has caught more Tom Brady touchdowns than Gronk, and he expects to add to that total in Tampa Bay. Now a first down carry by Jones. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. From just shy of midfield, Brady looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin, 52 yards. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. Partner, one of the cardinal rules of defense is that if you're in a position to make a tackle, you need to make it. Well, and if you can't make the tackle before that, you just got to knock that ball down, right? Yeah, something has to happen because we saw the end result there. Missed tackle, he goes all the way and takes it for a touchdown. Extra point up and good by Sucker, and the lead is up to five.
Bradley. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. On second down, McCaffrey. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. He's taking the good run on first down followed up by a not so good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're gonna stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time they face a third and two. And he's gonna have the first down yardage to the 35. Brought down Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Of I haven't met a football first team down, yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It's a gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. The throw over the middle taken in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks' 40-yard line. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The Panthers on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and two. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. It's now well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. for the Panther field goal. A 57-yard attempt. Crossbar no good. A long-range effort denying three points at the very end. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. Well, now they'll start three yards shy of midfield after that long 57-yard miss. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Brings up second and first play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. 
but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. They'll keep it on the ground with McCoy this time. And McCoy loses the football. That's good. More up. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. from the gun it's Brady open man is Howard to tight end and he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line the catch and run there good for 16 a first 21 yard line we didn't need to ask around the league but we got to confirm this guy's a good player they've got to find a way to get him more involved call a few more plays that target him absolutely because here we are toward the end of the first half and that's the first target not just the first catch first target the throw there by Brady, intended for Gronkowski, but incomplete. He was looking for Gronk that time. That'll bring up second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Brady again here on second and ten. He finds his target. It's Evans. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Mike Evans has been so good downfield. I think that sometimes we end up taking him for granted. When you look back at what he's done each year in the league, he's been a 1,000-yard receiver each and every time. Now paired with the prolific Tom Brady, those numbers. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Tom Brady to his old Patriot pal, Rob Gronkowski. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. And he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. Makes the score. Buccaneers 19, Panthers 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal always hurts a team because you know you've put something out there you've given yourself a chance you're in range and the ball doesn't go through the post but it's not something to panic about i don't believe just keep playing and keep going the panthers going to use the second of their timeouts 
As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Bridgewater to throw it. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll make it second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Looking to throw again on second down. Bridgewater. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First and ten, Bridgewater. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. First down, Panthers. Joey Sly on now for the Panthers. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that lead is back down to nine now. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. So we come upon halftime with nine points separating these two teams. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. 
from the 29. Brady, a yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he gets this to the 35, good for a gain of five. That's a gain of five. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They'll try and run for it with Jones. He's got the first down and more. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Panthers. He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much. Trying his best, as you noted, to get there. Sometimes that extra effort can cost you. Brady now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. From the shotgun, it's a give to McCoy. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, Brady. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And they'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. And it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Out. Fourth down. Here's the Panthers punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. <laughs> 39-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Back now comes Tampa Bay. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Brings up the job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers. But in this case, I think we can safely say he beat them right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Good catch there by Mike Evans and his ability to get downfield and create big plays is something that Tom Brady hasn't had on the perimeter in the last few seasons. Mike Evans often fools defenders with his speed because he's so long, people think he can't be that fast, but he is and combines it with terrific hands and makes big catches. Three 
yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. They'll go again to Jones. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Brought down by Shaq Thompson. That's a gain of three. Now third and five. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Shotgun now for Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski. Complete. And for the moment, this will be a first down. But we have a marker on the field. Let's see if this stands. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Operating from the gun. Brady airing this one out for Evans. And the throw there going to be incomplete. But well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And this punt sails over the sideline. And the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. William Goldman. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers. Freed up the D linemen to make the play. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Bridgewater. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Bridgewater. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. First down throw for Bridgewater. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. First down. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. From the red zone now, Bridgewater complete on the quick throw to Moore. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. 
Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. They'll throw again, Bridgewater. And he will score! Touchdown, Panthers! Taking it in from four yards out. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the passing game, so he scrambled, and wouldn't you know it, he scores a touchdown anyway. It's awfully nice to have a quarterback who can make things happen with his legs. And the lead is down to two. His kick is good. Makes the score, Buccaneers 19, Panthers 17. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Buccaneers offense ready to rock and roll again. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And the Panthers have recovered. The second down pass. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. This is McCaffrey on the give. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Christian McCaffrey. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second and two. First down marker at the five-yard line. To throw, Bridgewater. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for, and it's third and short. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Matt Rule, a risk taker in college, going for it. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. It's the fullback. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers are once again going to retake the lead. Sly on for the extra point. And the lead is up to five. Good. Makes the score Panthers 24, Buccaneers 19.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will make it into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. So out come the Bucks now. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 29. Brady, he finds his tight end, Howard, that's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a first down on a gain of 10. When an offense reads blitz, it doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. From the gun, it's Brady. They'll find Miller, that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Brady's throw there complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Buccaneers, first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Brady to throw again. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Throwing again on second down. Brady, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter. About is, it, winning. Is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. Uh, about winning the turnover battle. As a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog, you were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. Now Brady gets away with one. Lucky. Could have been intercepted, but it falls to the ground. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Into the red zone, it's Brady. It's caught, it's Miller. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field, very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. 
They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. To the goal line. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. They'll try again with Jones. Jones again, the ball carrier. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They hand off to their big tight end. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs have taken the lead here in the fourth. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. Touchdown. Cooper on the return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Bridgewater going to lead the Panthers up here first and 10 at their own 23. He'll throw from the gun. And that's complete to McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Bridgewater. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Intercepted. The Bucks take over first and 10. So after the INT, it's Brady. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Second and 20. Brady gives this one off to Jones. 
Flash the stick skills on that run, but then stop shy of the 35. That run good for six yards, but they're still looking up at a third and 15. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They'll run on first down. Jones in on the stop. It's to here Whitehead. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. 17 yard line. Now a second down and six. From the gun, Brady. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Operating from the gun, Brady. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And able to get this out to the 25. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. Bridgewater and the Panthers going to come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And that is incomplete. A lot of 
force Barron down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Had to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. The Panthers on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This time they face a third and two. From the gun, Bridgewater. Short and Whitehead there defensively. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. There's the Panthers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On first down, Jones. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. Shotgun now for Brady. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Throwing on first down is Brady. He finds his target. It's Evans. Brady, a gain of six there on first. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 40-yard line. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. It's complete. He's got Gronk. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That one, a first down pickup of eight. There are many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Again, it's Jones. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 yards there, first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. Carter on the stop. A loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the 37-yard line. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. This is a big...
big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone getting the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. It'll go as a gain of nine, and that should write an ending to this one. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. Wait, that's wide, so time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but they were able to get the job done, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> no doubt about it. And let's face it, they had to be more than nervous in the fourth quarter. But a lot of that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right, that reserve tank. They hauled it out. Offense scored some points. Defense held them. And lo and behold, they walk away with a win. Maybe expend a little more energy than they expected to, but they'll take it. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Bucks are winners here as we say so long from Tampa.